party of the first part will pay for the party of the second part to attend the party of the party of the third part? Now you made wow. me lose count of all my parties and parts. Hmm. You're early. I love a man who can't wait to see me. Oh, your message sounded like an SOS. I'm having a crisis. You know that I'm crazy about you, right? Yeah, well, you know, any woman in her right mind would be. I would lie down on a railroad track if anyone ever tried to touch a single tousled hair on your head. You mean you saying my hair is messed up? No, I'm saying that I need to spend a few nights with Ned, or I will come completely unstrung. Oh, is that all? Don't make that sound minor. You haven't seen me unstrung. It's not pretty. Who dreamed that we would be carrying on this French bars for this long? Who thought that Gertrude would have this kind of staying power? And who thought that Edward would egg her on keeping us all under this microscope? May I point out the opportunity for me has just arisen to say, I told all of you at the start that this would be an absolute nightmare. Yes. But do you hear me saying it? No, no. Because I'm too much of a gentleman to stoop to and I told you so. I'm leaving tonight for a weekend with Ned and Paragon that you are. I am counting on you to come up with a plausible cover story for all of this. You will, won't you? Oh, absolutely. I consider it my duty to make all my wife's dreams come true. Even when she's dreaming of a somewhat inferior man. Because I can't. Because I said I can't. All right, I'm having a meeting with Ashton, if you must know. It's my business, Jerry. Yes. Well, I'm, sh I'm sure Alexis would appreciate the invitation, but she can't make it to dinner either. Because she's going to the meeting as well. Yes, yes, for legal advice. You know, having an attorney in the family is an advantage. Someone should have thought of it before. Jer Jerry, goodbye. Goodbye, Jerry. Oh, this is insane. I have to turn this off, otherwise he's going to call back. I'll call you back, and if he doesn't call you, you'll call him. And don't get me wrong, I find that very endearing. I just also find it mystifying, considering that you two see each other all the time. Well, you know, sometimes he calls me from the other room. It's safer that way. We can't punch each other over the telephone. You and Jerry hit each other? Only when we strongly disagree. That's barbaric. In my family, we poison each other. Well, there aren't enough of us for that. No one heeded difference of opinion and we'd go the way of the dodo bird. That's true. There are only four of you. See, in my family, we have a lot of cousins. We're everywhere. But we Cassadines don't have a family like you do. Ours is more like a labor union. Or a coven. Four, huh? No, you miscounted. Really? One, two, three, four. Five. You know, sometimes you make me wish I weren't in love with another man. <laughs> yes, marriage is a breeze, isn't it? It's just love. So damn inconvenient. You know, marriage hasn't given Ned much incentive to stock his refrigerator. There's nothing in there but caviar and ancient champagne. And chips. They weren't in the fridge. How do you put up with him, Alexis? He can't be bothered to show up for his assignation on time. He doesn't even leave you decent snacks while you wait. I don't mind caviar on chips, and you don't have to wait. Oh, oh yes, I do, because somebody has to know where Ned's taking you in case of a Gertrude emergency. Well, you can ask him, but I don't think he's going to tell you, because he wants us to be very incommunicado. Oh, that reminds me, you made me promise to leave my cell phone behind, and I am all too happy to comply. <laughs> Here he Hello, is. boys and girls. Hello. I thought you had a business meeting with Ashton. Is that why we're sitting here in Ned's living room? <laughs> well, he's late, obviously. <laughs> well, that should make our work that much easier. Mm. Are you going to rob the house? No, actually, we're kidnapping you. We are taking you out to dinner, and no excuses will be allowed. Ned didn't cancel. Uh, he's just late. Which gives you every right to cancel. I can't. Why not? Because... It's too important. ELQ has this crucial board meeting oh, coming up. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> what is? When are you going to start remembering you're a married man now? 
I mean, look at the situation. You drag poor Alexis here to a business meeting oh, she can't possibly have any anywhere. interest in with her ex-boyfriend, of all people, who at least knows how to behave like a newlywed and blow off okay, a meeting so when he needs to. you've decided to act as my marriage counselor now? It's my job description to tell you when you're being an idiot. <laughs> okay, okay, what's closer? Because the part where I punch him is coming up really soon. Okay. I'll admit, I missed those first signs. But Dad and Lady Jane, they made me see how your priorities needed reordering. Come again? That's right. They're crazy about Alexis. And they don't want to see you get dumped because it's obvious you don't deserve her. Oh, now, now, wait no, a no, minute. No, no, please, please. This is a brother thing. You need to spend way less time on work and way more time on being a husband. Because if anyone is going to get kicked out of this family, it isn't going to be Alexis. So, grab your jacket, get that look off your face, and let's all go and have a jolly, fun-filled <laughs> evening. Well, we can't. Jerry. Why not? We just can't. And, and don't blame your brother. Blame me. He's really being a wonderful person. He's trying to take the heat from me because I just... I don't want to go, period. I'm sorry. Okay, I think I know what this is about. And I think it's time we get a few things out in the open. I know you don't like me. You're perfectly nice to me, and believe me, I'm not complaining, but we're finding ourselves in another situation like the sisters-in-law situation we were in before, so of course this is going to be a little awkward. No, it, that... Alexis, you know, there really were things that we liked about each other in the beginning, remember? You're making it really hard not to. Before you turned on me and I turned on Stefan, and, and then Stefan turned on me, and... Uh, merrily, 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 <laughs> life is by the dream. <laughs> and... I really didn't like not being on speaking terms with you. And now it's even doubly important to me that we get along because you're part of Jerry's family. And I have been trying really hard, but apparently not hard enough if you're reluctant to sit across the dinner table from me. Please come. To my little brother and his wife. May you always be as happy as we all are tonight. Nah, I'll second that. Here, here. We should be out looking for them. There are a million possible reasons why Alexis wasn't waiting at the gatehouse. Why didn't she take her cell phone with her? Why didn't she leave a note? Shall I call Jax again? No, no, just in case he turned on his phone. I'm tired of speaking to his voicemail. Alexis couldn't wait to get out of town with me. She wouldn't have just disappeared. And it's all because of Jax. I know Jax better than you do. Al, Al, yes. By any chance, have you seen Mr. and Mrs. Jax? Uh, well, yes, Mr. Ashton. They're having dinner in the main dining room. Yes. At least we know they're safe. One of them is. Ned. Uh oh. Incoming Ashton. Uh, whatever Jax missed, get over it. Tonight, nothing is more important than family. You were extremely late for the meeting. So you turn off your cell phone and go out to dinner? My cell phone is off? Oh, so it is. There we go. Um, you know, Bobby and Jerry tracked us down at the gatehouse, and they insisted that we come to dinner with them, so here we are. <laughs> they practically kidnapped us. Yeah. Hmm, we were awfully rude, weren't we? But, <laughs> hey, where's the harm? John and Lady Jane believe that Jax has been working much too hard, and he's neglecting his new bride. We had no choice but to help. Seize the day, carpe diem, that sort of thing. I would have appreciated a little notice. Didn't you get my note? We must have missed it. But we understand. Skipping work for family is always a good idea. Have a wonderful evening, Ned. Oh, not so fast. Listen, you're all best friends, and we owe you a celebration. No, no, that that's all That is so nice, thank you. Well, sit down and join us. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't think you could get out of this one, did you? Thank you. So, now that we're all together, maybe you can help me out. We're not lending you any money, so forget it. <laughs> it's about your wedding. Ask us anything. So, why did you allow me? You're gonna sneak off and get married too, aren't you? <laughs> Congratulations! Why Vegas? Why not? So, I mean, what came first? I mean, Vegas or getting married? Did you go out there full of love until death us do part? Or did you go and see all the uh, bright lights and say, what the hell? 
The entire trip was a whim. I had never been to Las Vegas. Chloe wanted to see a show. Right? That's right, a show. Uh, for L&B, it was a business trip. Right. I was working on my winter collection by watching Las Vegas showgirls. Makes sense. <laughs> Well, Ned and Chloe wanted to update L&B's image, you know, make it hotter, sexier. With feathers. There's an astonishing amount of feathers in Las Vegas. Most people don't realize that. I love feathers. Yes, so we invited Jax and Alexis along mm -hmm. just for fun. And then we all ended up on my jet, and, uh, and that reminded us of the last time we were on a jet. Mm. Well, that would be the Sahara. The Sahara changed my life. But I was on that jet back from the Sahara, and I didn't notice anything between you two. In fact, Ned spent his whole time with his arms around you, yelling at him. Well, that's because he realized something had changed. Something inescapable. Yeah, we didn't have the heart to tell him, at least not that. The bottom line is, Jax proposed to Alexis on the jet to Las Vegas. Yep best decision I ever made. And you've all managed to remain friends. Oh, mm -hmm. congratulations. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's for me. I've been waiting for this call all day from Therese. It won't be long. But what exactly happened in the Sahara? Do we really need to hear all of the gory details? It's all right, Bobby. I'm used to my brother's incessant prying. Stranded in that cave, I looked into Alexis's eyes and we just knew <laughs> yeah well getting stranded is one of our favorite things we're on our way to a cabin in the woods tonight mm. these Jackson boys really know how to get away from it all don't they <laughs> <laughs> yeah just the other day Jax what honey tell Bobby about just the other day <laughs> <laughs>